There is. Oh! 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 Iguana bone. Totally boned out. All right, kids, remember, safety first, never play with fire. I say about five more minutes, it's gonna be done. What is going on, Iguana Man gang? Today, we are meeting up with Terry, and we are gonna be iguana hunting with the air rifle on a boat. To do this efficiently, we are gonna have to try to get these iguanas by water. We have this boat right here. Now, the owner of the boat said this is seaworthy. What do you think? Absolutely. You just go in the butt, I'll hand you everything. Gotcha. There you go. All right. Got two oars, garbage bag, water bottle. Okay, handbook. All right, Ooh. thank you. Let's go see what's good. I don't care about tip this boat over. Yeah, what looks to be a giant iguana right there. He's, he's, the water, he's yeah. submerged partially in the water. We're gonna go ahead and get the air rifle ready. Ready? Yeah. There he is. Save the chips off. Oh! Alright, we gotta follow him. I hit him though, right? Yeah. Dang, alright. Yeah, here's one for standby. Here, just give me a couple. Yeah. I'll get off my end, alright? Gotcha. Alright. Ducking down the grass right now. Smacked him. You got him. Massive iguana. Holy crap, I'm gonna get the boat over here. Good shot, man. Thank you, Matthew. Yep. I got you. That's with a 22 caliber weapon right there. Big one, man. That's a giant one right here. Definitely one of the top breeders in this area. And now we're gonna go ahead and throw him in the boat. Wow, the size of that guy is huge. Fish, I just threw it in and then I got a fish. Oh my gosh. No way. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a big one, dude. What's going on? It's a big bass. What oh. is going on? I just threw oh it in just to test it out. And then, oh my god. Oh. Flip him up, flip him up. Oh, oh shoot, I'm grabbing. Oh, oh ooh, hook no, almost got flip me. Him, flip him, flip him, yeah. flip him. No oh. way. Are you kidding me? Don't flip out on me, buddy. I don't want a rusty hook in my finger. There we go, got him. I don't know what kind of fish this is. I think it's a big mouth bass. If you guys know, drop. All right. Awesome. Wow. No hesitation on that one, man. She went straight after it. Again. Ooh, mm -hmm. another Charizard. Okay. So this is gonna be good, hunter. We gotta park the boat right below the tree. Take a couple of shots with a 22 and see what happens. Their head already exposed. This one. Part of his head's exposed right now. Down period. You got him. Yep. Much easier with a scope. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. In this case, yeah. We'll yeah. Use. I'm keeping the video nice and shaky. Oh, good there shot, good shot. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. Grab the phone, grab the phone. Can we get the rod out make a hook him? Yeah. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Dang it. He's right here in this area. Ooh, did he just hit the boat? No, that was me. He's right here, he's right here. We're right underneath him. Yeah, we need to retrieve this iguana. All right, so let's resort to this handbook real quick. See if it can help us with some tips to be a little bit more successful. Shot placement, where do I shoot an iguana? Let's see. My philosophy is aim a little, miss a little. So I practice putting all my shots within the dime size circle at a distance, usually la la la. And perfect headshot placements is key to a successful hunt. Bigger. Spotted another dragon. Oh, Terry in the head. Shoot. Right there, take your time, you got him. He might just jump in the boat. He's right there. Shoot! Oh what my the God. heck, man? Another one! Oh, shoot. I'm gonna try to hit him from like right here. Get one. If he falls, he's gonna go right in the boat. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Ooh. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat! Oh. In the boat! He's right there! Oh, he's bleeding, he's bleeding, he's bleeding. Oh my gosh. Ah. Dude. One more shot? One more shot, he's gonna yeah. go right in the boat. He's done after this, I got the boat steady for you. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. He's moving, he's moving. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> he might be coming down. Oh my gosh. 
We were so close. I wanted to climb the tree. There is. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh! <my> God. oh. <laughs> What? Oh my god. He almost hit my phone. He almost hit my phone. <laughs> oh. So, we just shot two iguanas out of that big tree. Both giant ones fell in the water, but we couldn't retrieve them. So now I'm dragging the boat because it's really tiring to paddle it. So I'm going to take it to this spot where I thought I saw a big one up in the tree right here. And we're going to see what happens. Here we go. Really? Yeah, I'm not wasting my time talking to you. Okay, yeah, we were just hunting iguanas. We got permission to talk to the guard. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, dang it, I knew this was gonna happen. Where's the guard at? Oh, like Nate was freaking out about the boat and the gun and stuff. So yeah. Point to me. So oh. I, I have to go through the board to get you authorized. About to kill an iguana up in a palm tree until a guy in a car came up to me and told me, "Hey, you gotta go up to the guard gate right now and explain what you're doing." He says, I know you're not in the wrong, but like residents out here saw us with a gun shooting and like they all freaked out and called the cops. So I went up to the guard gate and explained to them what I was doing. And he was like, so he caught a fish. A bird caught a fish. Iguanas, blah, blah. The rules and regulations like on the side of the canal and being like the canal of the boat. And he was like, no, so you can't do that. He lied to you. You could have went to jail. Make sure in like the rules and regulations, everything applies and stuff. There will be people that call the cops on you. But make sure like you have rules to back yourself up. Before stuff like this happens, we could have been arrested right now. My YouTube name is Yara Cabra Adventures. It can be linked down in the description below. Also my Instagram at Crocodile Hunter247. Oh I barely saw this guy, I thought it was a rock. He's beautiful. Nice. Wow. I thought it was a rock. Look at the camouflage on him. Nice. We got another iguana. I think she's pregnant too, so she probably had like 40 eggs in her. Okay, that's a good one. Another one. It killed it. You guys are quick skinning right there on that line until you reach the actual bone when you cut through the meat. So cut it down like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then when you're doing that, uh, your the meat will kind of, you said it will kind of like fall off like butterfly almost? Yeah. The goal is to keep the knife, the sharp edge of the knife, in the middle of the bone so you cut straight through the meat and not miss anything. So that's what I'm doing right now. It looks pretty good. Okay, perfect. Go, it looks like that. Hanging off. See it? The bone's right here, meat's right there. See that? All right. And there you have it. Iguana bone, totally boned out. Nice. The joints right there, and you have the meat itself. Completely boneless right there, right? Yep, all done. So now that we chopped up all this iguana meat, we're gonna put it in this pot of water. And squeeze two lemons to clean it. And along with the cauliflower, we have these beautiful snow peas. It went. There we go. Invisible fire. Throw them in there, nice. Okay. We'll give it a couple of minutes to let it get nice and crispy. Put it to the pot. Now that everything's looking good, we are gonna add our Thai red curry. We're gonna let it simmer and we're gonna be back to check on it in 10 to 15 minutes. 
trying to cook this curry so it gets really dry. Right now it's very watery. So we'll leave it, let it do its thing. I say about five more minutes, it's gonna be done. Add the snow peas. Take off the heat. We have some saffron infused jasmine rice right here. This is gonna be a perfect complement for our red iguana curry. Check it out. Guys, this is completely boneless right here. Wild caught, freshly harvested, and freshly cooked. Check this out. Landmine, landmine, landmine. Oh. I wish you guys could taste this right now. Wow, it has the consistency of pork in it. Oh, holy crap, it's good. Dang. For white rice, but you went to the actual like store to pick up this rice and I knew it was gonna taste good. Look at this, this is a piece of the iguana tail right here. Check that out, let's go ahead for a bite. As you guys can see, this curry iguana is super busting, completely boneless, very tender, amazingly flavored with very exotic seasonings, guys. Would you guys try this at home? Hey, let me know in the comments down below. That was a wild episode. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting. It is the Iguana Man. Let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see me do. It was a real pleasure, and I'm really happy you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, guys, just keep on catching.